very nice to be here, present in front of you. Uh, my background long, long time ago was in vodka. And here I am talking to you about Colombian rum. So <laughs> why this? Let's start this as a fairy tale. Long, long time ago, I received a phone call from current owner of uh, Dictador, who says, I think I bought a distillery. So then I say, I think maybe you had one too many mojitos if you're there in Colombia. I said, no, the juice is damn good. And I really think we should do something special about it. So this was exactly 10 years ago where he met the Para family that was doing this rum for decades locally in Cartagena de Indias. So on that day, we said to ourselves, we discovered by far the greatest spirit of Colombia. But what do we do about it? It's not like everybody is waiting for us there to, uh, to experience uh, what we have discovered. So the first thing we did was to look into the Nielsen reports for the global sales of aged rum. And there was no data. The reason for that was that aged rum as a category was so small that it was not even present in the report. You could find there Captain Morgan, obviously Bacardi, but nothing about aged rums. So we're here to talk about portfolio, but one thing I would like you to understand as well is that category equals portfolio. It's a portfolio of an industry. So we looked into that portfolio of H. Trumps. What have we discovered? A lot of parrots, a lot of old ships, uh, a lot of pictures of farmers cutting the sugar cane at certain angle. So that was the message that this category slash portfolio was using to communicate with clients. Obviously, it didn't work. If, if, if the category wasn't present in the Nielsen report, it means that it never managed to grow to sufficient amounts. So that was the first step for us uh, to prepare for launching of our products. So let's be different. Let's break what the, the, the category uh, had prepared for the consumer. Let's present the product as it was never presented before. Hence, we decided to go to, towards this uh, lifestyle communication which was supposed to be an invitation for a lot of consumers that never had a chance to try aged rum to open the bottle and try uh, the, the, the beautiful content that we've prepared for them inside. So we realized very quickly that we want Dictador not to be a rum. Dictador is Dictador. It's a spirit of its own kind. And it's from the day one going outside of certain uh, group of portfolio products. So that was the first controversial approach to, mm, to do it. So today, some of you are preparing to start your own brand, or some of you just did, and you're probably planning for years ahead. Some comments I'd like to make to, to maybe make your way easier, but please try treat this as a subjective opinion, but this is what we've learned throughout that path. So the bigger is your portfolio, the more chances you have to succeed. Really, if you go fishing and if, you, if you're going to only put one bait into the, um, into the lake, you're decreasing your chances. So what we have prepared here is a platform where we try to speak universal language. So I'll show you in a second how our portfolio is split up, but we try to, to service each side of the consumer groups to prepare something interesting for them. Moreover, we also are looking into the industry, how we can create special products for and within the industry. The important part that we also uh, came across was when you have those different groups of products, you need special forces for each of those groups. If you're using the same team of people, most likely they will not focus in a sufficient manner on all of your products. In our case, we, we have a separate division, which is the final rare division, and we have separate managers dedicated only to that portfolio. We have uh, coffee, we have uh, been doing cigars. We need separate people also for, for the division, otherwise it doesn't work. We tried it, you lose the focus. The creation process, and this is something what I really enjoyed on, on your slide, Pete. Uh, in our case, we, we always thought that um, the creation process can eat your product alive because it lasts too long. So we believe that it's better to start with something that has less chances to succeed but to start and then fix things as we go. 
it's a little bit crazy and dangerous, but in our case, it proved to work. Otherwise, we would sit in the boardroom for weeks trying to come up with the perfect idea rather than try to actually make business. So that's what we've been doing. Facilitate your communication appropriately to each of the channels. Your consumers that uh, drink your entry-level spirits will demand different communication than the connoisseurs or collectors that are after your final rare portfolio. Um, your, your, your coffee drinkers will absolutely visit different websites and, and, and different media uh, than to those uh, consumers that smoke your cigars or drink your rums, vodkas, wines, and so on. So, as you build, make sure that you don't use the same channels for communication for all your, all your products. Now, this is how our portfolio is structured right now. So we started with our entry level products with 12, 20 year old XO, which is a blend on average 25 year old rums. And the first gins that, was made, that were made from sugar cane that were matured in our rum barrels. Now, this is how we started back in 2009. Um, as we progressed, we uh, decided to add another category, which for us, we're lucky because we have that old rum. Actually, we have one of the oldest rums on the planet right now in our possession. Um, so we've managed to be able to offer to consumers a fantastic adventure to discover our 40, 35, 45-year-old rums, uh, where we decided also to be as creative as possible to, within the fine and rare portfolio, create different groups of products, which I'll show you in a second. Then another uh, thing that came to our mind is that Age drum is still a small category around the world, so you need to give people some experience to discover it. Hence the idea of cigars and the coffee, because what better experience than to go to a bar, have your rum on the rocks, then follow up with a nice uh, shot of espresso from uh, Colombian Arabica, or just have a cigar while you're drinking it. So it's a portfolio that is surrounding our core, which are the spirits. Now, as we did business, we realized there is a need for another group of products, private label. Some of you, obviously, are trying to pitch to, to biggest chains of specialty stores or supermarkets. Very often, those customers like to have something exclusively made for them. So while you're building your portfolio, it can be a tremendous uh, benefit and added value for your sales if you come up with something that will be exclusive to certain partners. Now, there is a world beyond that. Hashtag art distilled. I'll not speak too much about it, but if you would like to discover where we're going next, uh, please check it out and you'll see how very much beyond spirit business you can grow with the, with the brand. So here's a little twist on our final rare portfolio. So we have rum matured under the sea. We have the Two Masters project, which is a phenomenal thing where we send uh, some of our oldest rums, on average 40 year old rums to respected houses around the world. So we have some of our rums aged in Glen Farkle's barrels in their distillery in Scotland. We have uh, some of our rum aged by Hardy Cognac uh, in France. We have fantastic partners now from US, uh, from our importer partner Sazerac, where we teamed up with one of their distilleries, Barton, where they're aging some of our rums as well. So it's a global project of partnerships uh, and is bringing rum to a completely new category because if you're a whiskey drinker and you're a collector and you were never into the rum world, what, what better way to introduce you to it is if not trying the 40-year-old rum from a 50-year-old uh, Grand Farkle's uh, whiskey barrel. So around that, you can also build different groups of, 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 of customers and uh, target your audience in many different ways. Now, let's not forget about our industry of its own. Right now, Dictador has created the most secured label on the planet. We did the premiere of that two weeks ago in New York City. Um, yesterday, we're lucky to be published uh, with a few first articles from Fox Business. This is the most secured label on the planet. We teamed up with one of uh, the Euro banknote manufacturers uh, who helped us create a patent on, on creating that label with absolutely unique 11 protection systems. So right now, this technology becomes our new portfolio because we already talked to other brands that are interested in securing their very, very old uh, bottlings with our label, obviously with their design, but with our technology. So soon part of the Dictador portfolio, uh, you're looking at selling technology to other uh, market players. So 
do not limit yourself only because somebody said that you have to sell this one spirit that you mm, that you started with. It's 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 a big ocean and there's a lot a lot to do, which takes me smoothly to my red and blue ocean slide. Um, this is the core. This is the core of, of what our owner, our mentor always told us that within our company, we always focus on this approach, red and blue ocean. Why would you put yourself in an ocean full of blood and sharks and compete about, uh, against the biggest corporations on this planet if you can actually create your own ocean where you swim on your own or maybe with one or two competitors? It's, it's, it's absolutely uh, something that brought us where we are right now. We are, I believe we are one of the leaders in the age drum sector and if we would follow the, the old examples of pirates and, and parrots and do as everybody told us to do, we probably wouldn't be here where we are right now. So uh, some people maybe think we're a little bit uh, loco, uh, but we're proud of it. And I think that's what makes us uh, different. Um, and I encourage you to, to be different in anything that you do. If you see all of those uh, mm, competitors in your category, think about what they're not doing and then do it. And to finish up, um, soon you'll be able to see one of the biggest modern art museum that is located in our uh, distillery in Colombia. Uh, the works recreated on canvas will be exhibited around uh, modern art museums around the world and it's part of our charity foundation. So again, it, it's growing. The concept is growing beyond the RAM itself. And I encourage you not to limit yourself. Thank you very much.